Battalion during this great climax in the long-standing battle between good and evil, between truth and error. You are of the House of Israel, and you have been sent here to help gather God's elect. Truth number two, truth is truth. The arbiter of truth is God. Truth is based upon the laws God has established for the dependability, protection, and nurturing of his children. Eternal laws operate in and affect each of our lives, whether we believe them or not. Truth number three, God loves every one of us with perfect love. More than anything, our Father wants his children to choose to return home to him. Everything he does is motivated by his yearning desire. The entire reason we are here on earth is to qualify to live with him forever. Truth number four, the Lord Jesus Christ, whose church this is, appoints prophets and apostles to communicate his love and to teach his laws. The gospel of Jesus Christ is built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Each of the Lord's apostles is in a position to observe and feel the love the Heavenly Father has for his children, particularly for those who are struggling. He cares deeply about those who have strayed from the covenant path especially when they fear there is no way back. My dear young friends, there is always a way back. Jesus Christ and his gospel is the way. You have not committed any sin so serious that you are beyond the reach of the Savior's love and atoning grace as you take steps to repent and follow God's laws you will begin to feel just how much Heavenly Father and His beloved Son want you back home with them. They want you to be happy. They will do anything within their power that does not violate your agency or their laws to help you come back. How I cherish the privilege of feeling their love for you. Now, for the fifth truth. You may know for yourself what is true and what is not by learning to discern the whisperings of the Spirit. For the Spirit speaketh truth and lieth not. It speaks of things as they really are and of things as they really will be. He has declared that we may seek knowledge from heaven and expect to receive it. If thou shalt ask, the Lord promised, Thou shalt receive revelation upon revelation, knowledge upon knowledge. Ask your Heavenly Father if we truly are the Lord's apostles and prophets. Ask if we have received revelation on this and other matters. Ask if these five truths are in fact true. I wish to discuss five truths that I feel impressed to share with you. Truth number one, you are sons and daughters of God. You are the children whom God chose to be part of his battalion during this great climax in the long-standing battle between good and evil, between truth and error. You are of the house of Israel.